But a shocking discovery. Elvis Presley signed the name Bob Joyce on a poster from the 1960s. This means that Elvis had a connection to the name Bob Joyce while he was still alive, seemingly confirming the speculation about the relationship between Bob and Elvis. First, Elvis's loyal fans know that he expressed a strong liking for the name Bob and would privately use Bob Joyce as an alias. Secondly, their appearances are strikingly similar. Thirdly, both possess extraordinary musical talent and share a love for the guitar and piano. Watching Bob passionately sing in church easily brings to mind the image of the rock king shining on stage in his prime. Fourth, anatomists have compared the body proportions of Elvis and Bob, discovering that their body proportions and bone structures are identical. Additionally, many fans have visited Bob's church in Arkansas and expressed their certainty that Bob and Elvis are indeed the same person. So, did Elvis really fake his death to assume a new identity and return to a peaceful, ordinary life after being a rock legend?